welcome back to episode 6 of the botting to max cape in this episode i'll as i said i'll be continuing with my hunter as i got level 20 at the end of just at the end of the last episode the bot was running for 1 hour and 11 minutes and i overall got a 3.2k experience i'm going to go to tropical wagtails now I was going to go at 19 because that's what the guide says, but I wanted to try and stay till 20 so I could use my second trap. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get some stuff and I'm going to go over to the tropical wagtails as they're quite far away. So I found a place to do the tropical wagtails just here. If it's right next to some chin chompers, I think that's why it's quite busy over here. But nobody's a low level as me. But if anyone's wondering how to get here, it's you just teleport to castle walls this is you go down follow the path here and just come straight down and it should be around this area I started finding them around here so I think they're everywhere but let's get rid of this bot prime hunter and let's set it up with the tropical wagtails and then I'm going to bed as you can clearly see it's one minute to four so two I can use two now Berry bones, yep. And start the bot. That should be all good. I'll leave that running. This is costing like, I don't know, 6p an hour. So it's not too bad. I can leave it for a while. And the, it was full of tropical wagtails over here. I think I might have to move spots, but I'll get up in the morning and I'll see what it is. So after a while of leaving the hunter bot going, I don't actually remember how long it was going for because the computer ended up shutting down for an update. So I couldn't check how long the bot was on for, but I left it overnight. I left it for about six hours, I think, around there. I managed to get to 47 hunter. And also I've decided from this point that I'm going to start playing it a lot more safer. I've decided that I'm going to wait a few days before releasing the episode. So the stats you see now aren't actually what the stats I have. But the stats I want to work on now is the I want to take a break from all this skill and I want to go back to combat for a while. So I haven't decided exactly where I want to go but I've come back. I managed to get nearly 6,000 feathers off the tropical wagtails. So I'm going to stick everything in my bank. We're going to get some supplies for combat and I'll meet you at the training spot. So I made my way over to the location and I was having a look at a few different guides and by the looks of it, Chaos Druid seemed quite good. So I'm just going to set up this bot and the difference is what I'm going to start setting up is, I've also managed to use a dollar twenty as well. Rich Baloney, start, yeah I'm going to I'm gonna get it to start taking breaks. So if I could go on to, that should be playing. Yeah, there's a setting on it to take breaks, so I'm going to set that up, get it to take a few breaks. And I think I want to train, I don't even know, let's put input back on. The thing I want to be training at the minute is not defence. It is attack. Yeah, I'll leave this for a while. This has been a nice little grind, it's not been too long, but I think I'm just coming up to level 30 defence. I'll show you the progress in a sec once it comes up. There we go, level 30 defence. So, I'm going to turn this off. It's been running for an hour and 50 minutes, but also before this, it was running for another hour and a half. I decided to stop it and take a little break. I know you can do that yourself, but I decided I wanted to just turn it off for an hour or two. So... I'm gonna stop this. I got I had it collected in run we in nature runes, but the nature I don't think I got any nature runes for a while. So I'm gonna quickly go to the Grand Exchange. I'll just wait till this one's done. There we go. I managed to get forty attack. I didn't train strength and I got thirty defence. I was gonna go I'm gonna change locations now. I was gonna do it at level forty attack and just leave twenty defence, but I decided against it. I also managed to get 10 Rana Weeds, which is about 70k, and a few insole heads. Let's take... I'll stick with I'll stick with Tuna for now, but I'm going to get a Tab 2 Camelot. I'm going to buy some Adamant Armour, and I'll meet you at the next training location. So 
It's also just be coming up to the next location now. I had a couple problems with it at first. If you try and see, I tried taking the shortcut, but let's. This seems like a lot better place. I was trying it on this side, and the bot wasn't working. It was running back and forth, so I had a look, and it says that this is well, this is the current supported rock crab location. So I'm going to set the bot up. It's quite a good bot. It's got world hop and everything. You can see now. I'm going to set it up, but. There's a free version of the exact same one. I've got the pro version at the minute, but I want it. I want it active. I think um, I'm not using potions, so I don't really matter. Heal below. Let's just say 30% just to be safe. It's got anti bands, so it hovers over people. Um, I don't. I'm not really too bothered about world hop at the minute. Uh, break handler. I don't want it to be breaking for two hours. Let's say 15 to 25 minutes between that. Looks good. Um, if world hop becomes a if the amount of players become a problem, then I can always world hop. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this bot running for a while. It should be quite good because it is a pro bot, and I'm gonna try and get all 50s by the end of this session. I might not be getting that much, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Here we are. Quick update. It's been running for around three hours but then it's also been another hour and a half on top of that and I've managed to get to 40 base stats but I, I've come back because I've decided to change it a bit I need to go to the Grand Exchange but the Ring of Wolf's got no charges left I was here for about four and a half hours and didn't use one piece of tuna so I'm quite happy about that I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna put everything in in my bank I'm gonna first of all get a TP to Grad an exchange and I'm gonna change and do a bit of ranged. I'm gonna stay at rock crabs but I'm gonna do ranged for a while. It might not be the most efficient but I've been trying to follow a guide. Oh, I've still not stopped this, I'll stop that. I've been trying to follow a guide as obviously I've had a few com a couple of comments saying that it's probably best if I follow a guide it's more efficient so which makes a lot more sense but yeah I'm gonna start off with what can you use any thrown axes at this? Yeah you can use iron so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a few iron. I'm gonna get some steel, but I'm gonna change train range for a bit. I don't know how inefficient this is gonna be, but this is the setup I've got. I've managed to get some iron knives. I've got one K of each black, and then also mithril. Um, I don't think this bot started anymore, but yeah, that's my that's my layout. I want to try and get to about 30 to 40 range by the end of the video, because we are coming close. And next episode, I'm planning on working on magic. But I think the magic will just be splashing because it still works. Splashing does work, but it's a bit slower. But it's not it's not a bannable offence. So hopefully that should all go well, and I'll be back with about 30 to 40 range to end the video. First 10 levels. Gonna switch over to the black darts. The black knives it took me to get 10 levels 15 minutes so another small but and probably unnecessary update i've just reached level 20 range and we need to pause this second if anybody of you are planning on using this bot then you're probably best off only bringing one set of knives at a time i'm gonna have to go to a bank because every time say if i want to change knives now it would just automatically change it back to the lowest ones you've got. So if I put on the mithril knives, it would use the iron ones. So the I've just had to stand and use iron up until level 30, at uh, level 20, which wasn't too bad. It went quite quick, but yeah, I just wanted to inform you all if anyone was planning on using this bot. So that's going to conclude the end of episode six. I didn't get as far as I wanted to with range, but there's a couple of things I wanted to update you with. I've managed to get 30 range, so I'll do that. I'm just going to stop the bot. And yeah, the I'm gonna carry this on off, off. Um, well, in between episodes, should I say? But I don't really suggest if you're gonna use this bot. I don't suggest using range with it because the one I was using before, I was using ar iron arrows, and the arrows were fine. But the mithril and the black arrows, the if you have a look at the bot, it's if you go and configure settings, it says pick up thrown equipment. It's a beta. So it only worked for some items. So I I came back after about 30 minutes of it. I, I don't even know how long it was. I could probably check here. Um, resume. Yeah, I came back after about 40 minutes and I had no mithril arrows. So I wasted about 150k there. But yeah, 
like I say, that's going to conclude the end of the sixth episode. If you've all enjoyed, a rating would be much appreciated. And I shall see you in episode seven, where I'm going to be probably working on a new stat. But I'm going to be working on ranging between episodes. Goodbye.